create a theory about the master of masters in Kingdom Hearts. The master of masters is a projection of darkness. Okay, interesting. This is a long theory. Oh my gosh. It's so cooey. Yo has a list and everything. In the Kingdom Hearts series, the enigmatic character known as the Master of Masters remain shrouded in mystery. While there have been various theories surrounding his true nature and motivations, this theory proposes that the Master of Masters is in fact a projection of darkness. Okay, interesting. One, manipulation of Keyblade Wooders. Throughout the series, the Master of Masters has displayed an uncanny ability to manipulate Keyblade Wooders, particularly through his Book of Prophecies. This level of control suggests a connection to the power of darkness, which often seeks to corrupt and manipulate individuals for its own purposes. Okay? Dark Foretellers. The Master of Masters bestowed the roles of the Foretellers upon his apprentices known as Ava and Vigula Ascendant Era. <laughs> These four towers, while originally loyal to their master, eventually become divided and engage in a conflict known as the Keyblade War. This internal strife and manipulation align with the chaotic nature of darkness, which often fosters discord and conflict. Uh, I mean, nothing they've said is incorrect so far, so yeah. <laughs> Mysterious Origins. The Master of Masters' origins remain largely unknown. He claims to have come from the future, but his presence and influence suggest a deeper connection to the darkness that per permeates the Kingdom Hearts universe. This mysterious nature aligns with the notion of a projection of darkness, as darkness often arises from unknown or hidden sources. Now, the third one was, was extremely vague, admittedly. Dark Prophecies. The Book of Prophecies, created by the Master of Masters, foretells the future events of the Keyblade War and the struggles faced by the foretellers. These prophecies, filled with foreboding and despair, echo the influence of darkness, which often manipulates events to bring about chaos and destruction. Manipulation of light and darkness balance. The Master of Masters' actions and teachings seem to intentionally upset the balance between light and darkness, favoring darkness as a means to an end. This suggests a vested interest in the propagation and expansion of darkness, further supporting the theory that he is a projection of, or embodiment of darkness itself. While this theory presents an intriguing possibility, it should be noted that the nature of the Master of Masters remains open to interpretation. Only future developments in the Kingdom Hearts series can provide concrete answers to the mystery surrounding this enigmatic character. Okay, so according to this chat GPT, this AI basically thinks that the Master is like, you could essentially say this is like a form of darkness, a projection of darkness. That's kind of what the darknesses already are in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So maybe the master is like the strongest form of darkness or something. I'm not going to lie. That is actually an interesting theory. Like that is genuinely an interesting theory. Asking to identify who subject X is. Okay. Connection to the secret reports. In Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, there are a series of secret reports written by Ants from the Wise. These reports mention subject X. That is inaccurate. Okay. Uh, so chat GPT being wrong. Who, who, who fed this AI misinformation? Birth by Sleep? Birth by sleep? Well, it, they, she does end up in that time period. So that is accurate. You know what? Actually, maybe it's not wrong. Because maybe it's saying the reports were written in Birth by Sleep. Not that the reports were in Birth by Sleep. So, okay. Maybe maybe from that perspective. Subject X is described as being in an um, amnesic state. It is implied that she has lost her memories or had them deliberately erased, making it difficult to identify her true identity or role in the overarching story, potential identity. While the, while the exact identity of Subject X has not been confirmed, there are theories suggesting that she could be a character introduced in the Kingdom Hearts key saga known as Skold. Even the bot thinks it's Skold. Gold is one of the five union leaders and plays a significant role in the Keyleth War. Some fans speculate that Subject X and Skold might be the same person due to their similarities and connections established in the series. It's crazy that even chat GPT thinks it's Skold. <laughs> It'll be crazy if Nomura like switches that up on us create a kingdom hearts theory about sora sora's destiny as the true keyblade master okay okay nice title that's a lot oh my gosh 
Yo, like, <laughs> yo, ChatGPT, like, is a true Kingdom Hearts theorist. All the stuff they're typing. <laughs> In the Kingdom Hearts universe, Sora is depicted as a brave and pure-hearted individual chosen to wield the Keyblade, a powerful weapon capable of sealing and unlocking the hearts of worlds. However, there is a deeper layer to Sora's destiny, suggesting that he is more than just a regular Keyblade wielder. This theory proposes that Sora is the true Keyblade master destined to bring balance to the realm of light and darkness. I mean, sounds accurate so far, kind of. <laughs> Connection to the Keyblade. The Keyblade is a legendary weapon said to hold immense power and is the ultimate goal of both light and darkness. Throughout the Kingdom Hearts series, there are various references and allusions to Sora's connection with the Keyblade. It is hinted that Sora has a true, has a unique tie to this weapon. I don't know why I said true. Potentially making him the key to its creation or destruction. Two, the power of connections. Sora's defining trait is his ability to forge deep connections with people he meets on his journey. He creates strong bonds with characters like Riku, Kairi, and Don and Goofy. This theory suggests that these connections are not mere coincidences, but crucial elements of his destiny. Sora's relationships empower him and strengthen his ability to harness the power of the Keyblade. The Heart of Pure Light Sora's heart is often described as being pure and filled with light. While other Keyblade wielders possess light within them, Sora's light is exceptionally powerful. This theory proposes that Sora's heart holds a special essence, a heart of pure light, that allows him to channel greater energy and overcome the darkness. This unique attribute makes him the true Keyblade Master. Okay, okay. The true, I like that idea, the true Keyblade Master. But that, doesn't that kind of like diminish other Keyblade Masters? I feel like that sounds like a cool title for Sora, but I feel like that, that diminishes people like Riku, Aqua, who they put in their work, you know? They have put in their work, especially Riku. Like, if Sora's a true Keyblade Master, Riku's right next to him, you know? Now, while I'm sure the other Kingdom Hearts characters would not be offended by that by any means, it's, it's like, come on, come on. What do y'all think, though? Anyways, let's continue. The Chosen One. It is hinted throughout the Kingdom Hearts series that Sora's journey is guided by forces beyond his understanding. Prophecies, ancient writings, and characters like Yen Sid and Master Zaynor allude to the idea that Sora has been chosen for a significant purpose. This theory suggests that his destiny as the true Killian Master is part of a grand plan to restore balance and harmony to the realms of light and darkness. I mean... Xehanort is the, quote, chosen one, according to Dark Road, but the AI doesn't have Dark Road information at all. Trials and Sacrifices. Sora's journey is filled with trials and sacrifices that test his resolve and shape his character. These challenges are not arbitrary, but serve a greater purpose in preparing him for his ultimate role as the tree he laid master. Each hardship he faces strengthens his spirit, refines his abilities, and allows him to grow closer to fulfilling his destiny. This is a very, like, destiny-reliant theory. In conclusion, his theory proposed that Sora is more than just a cable booter. He is the true Keyblade master destined to bring balance to the Kingdom Hearts universe. His unique connection to the Keyblade, the power of his connections, and his heart of pure light and his role as the Chosen One all contribute to his overarching purpose. Through trials and sacrifices, Sora's journey unfolds as he embraces his true, his true destiny, shaping the fate of the realm of light and darkness chat gpt is a sora stand confirmed <laughs> you're right the theory is kingdom hearts is the collective consciousness of all worlds in the magical universe of kingdom hearts there exists a mister a mysterious entity known as kingdom hearts itself while the game series provides glimpses and explanations this theory aims to delve deeper into the nature and purpose of kingdom hearts according to this theory Kingdom Hearts represents the collective consciousness of all the worlds within the within the Kingdom Hearts universe. It is a meta wait metaphysical realm where the hearts and memories of all living beings intertwine and connect. Just as our thoughts and emotions shape who we are, the hearts and memories of individuals shape the essence of Kingdom Hearts. Okay, within Kingdom Hearts, the hearts of worlds resides, each world representing a unique combination of dreams, hopes, and desires. The strength and purity of hearts determine the stability and prosperity i just lost where where was that <laughs> within kingdom hearts the hearts of worlds reside each world representing a unique combination of dreams hopes and desires the strength and purity of these hearts determine the stability and prosperity of their respective worlds when hearts are filled with positive emotions the worlds flourish and thrive however when darkness and negativity seep into hearts 
they become vulnerable to the influence of malevolent forces such as Heartless. The Heartless, led by the cunning Xehanort and his Organization 13, seek to manipulate the hearts of individuals and worlds, ultimately aiming to control Kingdom Hearts itself. Their desire for power and dominion drives them to extract hearts and spread darkness, disrupting the delicate balance within the universe. But Kingdom Hearts, being a representation of, of collective consciousness, holds immense power. It serves as a wellspring of light and hope, capable of purifying darkness and restoring balance. It can empower chosen individuals such as Sora, the protagonist, granting them the Keyblade, a symbolic weapon representing the key to unlocking and protecting hearts. Sora's journey through different Disney worlds and encounters with iconic characters are not merely whimsical adventures but vital steps in his quest to restore the equilibrium of kingdom hearts by forging alliances protecting hearts and embracing the power of friendship sora strengthens the collective consciousness fostering unity and combating the forces of darkness honestly that is a very good like reasoning for doing i i guess i don't know disney world quest <laughs> that's what people call them as the series progresses, Sora learns that his actions are not only for the benefit of his own world, but for the interconnectedness of all worlds within Kingdom Hearts. Each heart he saves contributes to the harmonious existence of the entire universe. In conclusion, the series suggests that Kingdom Hearts represents the interwoven consciousness of all worlds and the struggle to protect it from the encroachment of darkness serves as a metaphor for the importance of preserving positivity unity and the power of the human heart in our own lives yeah there are some really good kingdom hearts theories oh my gosh anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it there though guys uh thank you a lot for coming to the stream i really do appreciate it i hope you guys you know enjoyed um i'll most likely upload a video about this uh I will be streaming again soon. I don't quite know when. Well, actually, I do know when. Um, I will most likely be streaming on the 24th for the State of Play event that's going to be going on. Not State of Play, PlayStation Showcase. That should be a lot of fun. Um, I think I think it'll probably be a lot of fun. I hope you guys come out, tune in. Maybe we'll see some Kingdom Hearts. It's supposed to be a big showcase, so either mean Spider-Man, Kingdom Hearts, maybe more Final Fantasy, whatever the heck they got to show. But we'll probably be some cool. Hopefully it's KH though. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Uh, anyhow though, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm gonna call it. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer. She's always thinking.